স্যার আজকে দুইটাই দিয়ে দিয়েন স্যার আজকে যা পড়াবেন আর গত ক্লাসে ওকে টুডে উইল স্টার্ট উইথ বার্নোলি ডিফারেনশিয়াল ইকুয়েশন দিস ইজ অলসো कॉल्ड রিডিউসিবল টু লিনিয়ার ডিফারেনশিয়াল ইকুয়েশন অফ ফার্স্ট অর্ডার এন্ড দিস ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি নন লিনিয়ার ফর্ম ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু সলভ দ্য নন লিনিয়ার ফর্ম অফ ডিফারেনশিয়াল ইকুয়েশন বাই রিডিউসিং ইট টু লিনিয়ার ফর্ম দেন ইউ হ্যাভ টু উই নিড টু টেক হেল্প ফ্রম বার্নোলি ইকুয়েশন অ্যাকচুয়ালি জেমস বার্নোলি ডিসকভার্ড দিস Uh, Bernoulli differential equation of, uh, is the form of dy dx plus p of x. Uh, this is the function of, uh, p is the function of x or constant. Y equals to qx into y to the power n. Actually, y to the power n. This is the function of y actually. And p and q are the function of x or constant. So this form of differential equation is called Bernoulli differential equation. Actually, this is uh, this is the uh, this is the actually uh, a part uh, nonlinear differential equation. So, if you want to reduce to reduce it to linear form of differential equation, then uh, it is solvable in linear form. So, uh, the main uh, aims to uh, the Bernoulli differential equation is to make nonlinear form to linear form. So today is the this is this topic we will discuss about this. Actually, Bernoulli differential equation, the differential equation form. This is called Bernoulli differential equation. Uh, on the other hand, if n equals to zero and n equals to one, suppose uh, n is the actually power of y. If there is n equals to zero and n equals to one. In this, in this differential equation, then this is linear. So uh, th th this form of Bernoulli's differential equation will be must be linear. Otherwise, otherwise it will be nonlinear. Then we have to reduce it to linear form. The Bernoulli equation can you use Kurva? We are using this differential equation to transform it to nonlinear to linear. we are in linear uh, differential equation we are solving linear differential equation to transform non linear differential equation to li linear differential equation we are using this to solve Uh, these types of differential equation suppose dy dx plus y equals to x square y square then here actually power of y what 2 that means greater than 1 that is uh, that means it is non linear differential equation so you have to transform it to linear form with the help of bernoulli equation then uh, you can solve this in the bernoulli form Actually, Bernoulli equation is this: uh, to solve the uh, this above differential equation, if n equals to zero, you must know the Bernoulli equation will become linear. Or if n equals to one, Bernoulli equation will be separable equation. That means it is also linear differential equation. So no need to worry for n equals to zero and n equals to one. Now to solve the Bernoulli differential equation, how you to will proceed actually? we have to divide uh, the bernoulli differential equation over y to the power n here actually y term y to the power n we have to divide with this on both sides okay on both sides we have to divide y to the power n divide the bernoulli differential equation y to the power n n may be any numbers uh, other than 0 and 1 that means 2 3 4 5 or minus 2 minus 3 minus 5 etc or minus 1 okay any any one any num any number any real number so 1 by uh, after dividing y to the power n on both sides we get this differential equation of the form so 1 divided by y to the power n dy dx plus p of x uh, y to the power 1 minus n this is actually here 1 if we divide it with this then we get 1 minus n and this is the y n free okay y n y to the power n divided by y to the power n okay now put if we if we substitute actually uh, coefficient of what p coefficient of p what this okay then you have to substitute this z equals to this okay z equals to we consider what coefficient of function of px 
then z equals to after taking this we have to differentiate it with respect to x on both sides of this then we get this now actually the dz by dx then putting z equals to y to the power n man then the differential equation of this form will be like this so this can be written as after uh, multiplying on both sides 1 minus n on both sides we get dz by dx p uh, 1 minus n into this 1 minus n into qx actually this is the linear equation and its solution as we told before actually we have we, then we can solve it this linear differential equation and uh, we, so uh, we uh, actually this is the nonlinear differential equation and called uh, and we make it linear form with the help of Bernoulli differential equation so remember this and now we will try some example to this connection okay well now we'll try an example example of a uh, reducible to the linear form that means Bernoulli equation form now we'll try this example actually uh, solve x square dy plus y into x plus y dx equals to zero hmm. we, we can write we have this differential equation and we can write this is the form what dy plus dy dx plus y by x equals to minus y square by x square actually how we get it dividing by x square on both sides okay dividing by x square and both sides we get this form understand i am multiplying yx plus y square then y square x square yx divided by x square means what y by x actually this is the form of bernoulli differential equation what dy dx here p equals to what p equals to coefficient of y 1 by x is the p and q what 1 by minus 1 by x square remember it p are p and q will be the function of x so the y to the power n n equals to what here n equals to what 2 n equals to 2 so just dividing by y square on both sides this is then this is the actually bernoulli differential equation where n equals to now dividing we have to divide with what y square on both sides then we get this form now considering 1 by y square equals to what minus coefficient of x coefficient of x what here 1 by y right 1 by y then uh. dividing by x square on both sides did you not understand dividing by x square on both sides then we get a differential equation which is the form of bernoulli differential equation this is the bernoulli differential equation like this okay where p equals to what p equals to 1 by x and q equals to what minus 1 by x square compare with this differential equation this is the bernoulli differential equation now comparing dy dx plus y by x equals to minus 1 by y y square divided by x square then we have to divide with what y square on both sides okay we get this differential equation now taking minus y equals to z that means coefficient of this 1 by y equals to minus 1 by y equals to z then taking differentiation on both sides if we take differentiation on 1 by x formula what minus 1 by x square differentiation okay 1 by uh, minus 1 by x square x means y actually 1 by y square so minus minus will be cancelled then again differentiation it is not actually x this is why dy dx so dz by dx equals to this so you can substitute this equals to what dz by dx and minus 1 by y equals to what z okay so, so it can be written as minus z by x and this will be minus 1 by x square now integrating fact this is the actually linear form okay linear form uh, and independent variable x dependent variable what z so coefficient of dependent variable what minus 1 by x this is the integrating factor integrating factor will be what e to the power minus p dx p means what p will be the coefficient of dependent variable that means 1 by x dx so 1 by x integration what log x that means minus 1 can be written as log 
x to the power minus 1 that means log 1 by x e log means cancelled only 1 by x is the integrating factor of this linear differential equation so so multiplying 1 by x on both sides of this both sides of this linear form we get hence the solution will be z into z into what independent variable dependent variable into integrating factor equals to integration of what we have to multiply 1 by x with this then we get right hand side then z equals to what z equals to minus 1 by y putting here minus 1 by xy this this will be integration of what minus x to the power minus 3 x to the power minus 3 integration what x to the power minus 3 plus 1 divided by minus 3 plus 1 that means minus 2 x cube so this is the actually form x to the power minus 3 plus 1 divided by minus 3 plus 1 so we get this is the solution of this Bernoulli differential equation Now another example solve x dy dx plus y log y equals to x y e to the power x. Actually, this is the given differential equation of nonlinear form. Actually, remember it, it is nonlinear form. We have to make it into linear with the help of Bernoulli differential equation. Now dividing by x y on both sides. Actually, there is a coefficient of x and this is also y, the y term more y into log y. That means this is actually nonlinear for this. So uh, we have to divide this y and this also x. So dividing with x y on both sides, we get we get we get this one by y dy dx plus one by x log y equals to only e to the power x. Now log y equals to what? Actually, coefficient of p of x. Remember it. P of x is this x function. Okay. This is the q x. So only coefficient will be the z log y equals to z so differentiating on both sides 1 by y dy dx okay 1 by uh, log x formula 1 by x this is why 1 by y dy dx and this will be dz dx so uh, substituting these values in equation 1 then we get this is the actually dz dx and this will be what log y equals to z z by x and this will be only e to the power x so integrative factor what will be coefficient of what dependent variable that means p of x what 1 by x so integrative factor will be p of x dx p of x dx in previous lecture we have studied about this e to the power integrative factor will be e to the power e to the power integration of p of x dx p of x what 1 by x 1 by x dx so 1 by x formula log x and e log will be cancelled with the properties of log and exponentiation relation so this will be only single x so multiplying this integrating factor on the both sides of this linear differential equation so this will be dependent dependent variable into integrating factor equals to after integration equals to integrating factor this e to the power x into x okay x into e to the power x dx so if this is the ub process okay ub process the ub process integration what will be u into integration of b minus differentiation of u integration of b then whole again integration so we get uh, x ex minus ex only okay plus c this is the this is the integral constant after integ integration you can use this so the, after putting the value of z z equals to what was log y no. x log y equals to x ex minus ex this is the actually required solution of the integral equation differential equation okay now another example for your understanding better now this is the actually nonlinear differential equation nonlinear differential equation so we this, this is the given equation differential equation now dividing by dividing by what this that means sec y on both sides this is the you have to make it free of y you have to make it so this is the actually Bernoulli form okay dy dx minus minus p of x into function of y and this is the qx into function of y 
so this is the actually Bernoulli form and in Bernoulli form we must know dividing with the coefficient uh, with the function of y on both sides so you get this now we have to put the coefficient of coefficient coefficient of p of x that means what so sin y we have to put sin y equals to z then taking differentiation on both sides this will be what sign integration sign differentiation what cos and dy dx dz by dx so cos y, cos y dy dx will be substituted with by with the help of dz dx and sin y equals to what only z and this will be the only x function now integrating factor what will be e to the power this is the actually linear form okay linear form dy dx minus p of x p of x y equals to qx okay this is the linear form of differential equation of first order now integrating factor will be what integrating factor equals to e to the power minus p of x dx p of x means what coefficient of z this is the whole function of x and this is called p of x so 1 by 1 plus x dx and this will be 1 by x formula log x and this minus will be will become power with the help of properties of logarithm so this will be e log 1 by 1 plus x and this will be e log will be cancelled only 1 by 1 plus x now well, now multiplying on both sides this integrating factor with the to this linear differential equation now what will be in uh, dependent variable into integrating factor equals to integration of multiplying with this this one 1 plus x e to the power x divided by uh, into 1 by 1 plus x so 1 plus x 1 plus x will be cancelled so only e to the power x dx will be exist plus c this is the integral constant now e to the power x formula what e to the power x only plus c now putting the value of value of what z z equals to what what was sine y z to, z equals to sine y this is the actually complete solution of this differential equation of nonlinear form okay another example solve 10y dy dx plus 10x equals to cos y cos square x this is also nonlinear form of differential equation now this is the given differential equation we have to we have to make it free of cos y okay we have to make it free from this cos y according to the bernoulli form okay according to the bernoulli form now dividing by cos cos y on both sides dividing by cos y on both sides 10 y means what sine by cos and this this 10 x so if we divide cos y on both sides we get another sec y here and another sec y one by cos means sec this is y and this will be only cos square x because cos y divided by cos y will be cancelled now this is the bernoulli form actually so we have to take we have to put z equals to what x function coefficient of x function that means sec y taking z equals to sec y then differentiating on both sides dz dx what will be sec x formula what sec x 10x okay sec x 10x again dy dx formula because this is not x we have to take differentiation of dy dx so this whole this whole will be what dz by dx and dz by dx plus this is the actually sec y means z and z 10x equals to cos square x this is the linear form this is the linear form why this is the form of linear of the previous class dy dx plus plus p of x into y equals to q of x okay this is the linear form now integrative factor will be what e to the power integration of p of x dx p of x what actually coefficient of dependent variable that means 10x 10x is the coefficient of z dependent variable will be this z this z only so uh, x function will be only 10x the 10x integration what log sec x this is the formula of integration 10x formula log sec x e log will be cancelled only sec x so we have to multiply this integrative factor on both sides of linear form this linear form okay now this sec x uh, dependent variable into sec x equals to in integration 
of cos square x cos square x multiplied with sec, sec x plus c then cos square x 1 by uh, and this will be 1 by cos so all one cos will be cancelled only cos x okay this cos x integration what sin x so this is the result Now another example, solve differential equation dy dx plus 1 by x 10y equals to 1 by x square 10y sin y. Okay. We have this. This is the given differential equation. Now remember this. Function of in right hand side, function of different dependent variable what? This okay, 10y sin y. 10y sin y. We have to divide this. Divide with the dependent variable function. That means 10y sin y will uh, Will be cancelled from right hand side how dividing on both sides with what 10y sin y dividing on both sides we get this result 10y sin y so 10y 10y will be cancelled only 1 by sin y will be exist in middle term then in first term will be 1 by 10y sin y and this will be only 1 by x square actually this is the this is the can be written as 10y means cot y sin y means cosec y and this is also cosec y 1 by x square this is the actually Bernoulli equation okay now we will consider the function of what coefficient of x function Co coefficient of x function means p of x into y function so this will be z cos cosec y will be z so uh, uh, z equals to considering z equals to cosec y now differentiating on both sides uh, cosec uh, formula what minus cosec x cot x cosec x differentiation what minus x cosec x cot x there are a variable uh, y this is why dy dx again this equals to dz dx now putting from equation uh, this in equation one so we get only this whole can be written as minus dz by dx okay there is a minus from formula this is why minus dz by dx and this will be one by x z this will be whole z and one by x square so this is the linear form actually multiplying minus one on both sides we get this so this is the linear form now we have to integrate factor what will be e to the power of e to the function of x dx minus y coefficient of this so e to the power minus log x one by x formula log x and this will be e to the power log x to the power minus one x to the one by x only will be the integrating factor so the solution what will be you must know integrative factor Will be multiplied with this linear form of differential equation now independent dependent variable into integrating factor equals to integration integration over this right hand side multiplied with one by x minus one by x cube minus one only one by x cube this can be written as x to the power minus three so this formula what will be x to the power minus three plus one divided by minus three plus one plus c so z equals to what will be this is the z means what cosec y z means what was cosec y we have to remember it the value of will be substituted at the end of the result so cosec y equals to 1 by twice x square plus cx will be the result multiplying on x on both sides clear yes, sir. Now example 20 this is uh, this is the differential equation x into this actually um, you have to multiply with x uh, and you have to divide uh, uh, with x on both sides then you get dy dx plus y equals to 1 by y minus x 1 by y divided by x that means 1 by x minus y by x and this can be written as dy dx 1 plus 1 by x into y equals to 1 by x this is the actually linear form which is the linear form linear form why dy dx plus py equals to q this is the linear differential equation of first order order means what one times differentiation this is why and, and this, we have solved many many problems in our previous class dy dx plus py equals to q so this is the differential equation of first order in linear form and p equals to what coefficient of y and q equals to Q equals to what 1 by x so integrating factor what will be e to the power integration of p of x okay p into dx e to the power 
p means what 1 plus 1 by x and this integration what one uh, one integration will be x and 1 by x integration what was log x 1 by x formula log x this is why x log x and this can be written as e to the power x e to the power log x that means e to the power x e log means what only x so x into e to the power x will be the integrating factor you have to multiply x into e to the power x on both sides how so y into integrating factor equals to integration of in, uh, right hand side that means q function q function means what right hand side function integrating factor plus c that means y into integrating factor equals to integration of integrating factor multiply 1 by x that means right hand side xx will be cancelled e to the power x formula e to the power x this is the actually result after putting uh, after dividing on both sides x e x we get this result very easy next similar example y into e to the power y dx equals to y cube plus twice x e to the power y dy how to solve this differential equation this is actually non-linear form we have to arrange it to Bernoulli form y into e to the power y this is the given differential equation now dividing by dy on both sides and y into e to the power y on both sides dividing by y into e to the power y on both sides we get this and so and dividing by we have to dx we have to free this y into dy y into e to the power y will be divided by this divided by this okay y into e to the power y then again dividing by dy on both sides then we get dx by dy and this will be bracket will be cancelled minus twice x by y okay equals to y square e to the power y understand y y cube divided by y will be y square and e to the power y in the value and for, for this y will be here then e to the power y will be cancelled only twice x in the this just dividing you have to write another two lines for this just dividing by what y to the power y y into e to the power y and on uh, again dividing by dy on both sides now which is linear this is actually linear form of de uh, here dependent variable what dependent variable x and independent variable y look like before previous example now here p equals to what y function and q will be also y function y square into dy. that means pq here y function remember it function of y integrative factor will be, will be what e to the power p into a dy dy means what integration of integration will be function of y this is why dy with respect to y now p equals to a minus 2 by y coefficient of x just minus 2 uh, 1 by x formula log x this is why log y and it will be, uh, this will be y to the power minus 2 uh, that means 1 by y is there is the integrative factor so the solution of this linear differential equation will be dependent variable into integrative factor equal to integration of integration of right hand side right hand side into what integrative factor okay right hand side into integrating factor y square y square will be only cancelled so e to the power minus y with respect to y so e to the power minus y integration will be minus e to the power minus y dividing with the coefficient of y that means dividing by minus one we get minus e to the power minus y actually x divided by y square plus e to the power minus y equals to c is the required result this is the linear differential equation form where variable changed that means dependent variable x and independent variable y similar process example 23 you can solve in your own ways uh, this is the form of what, what? dx dy plus px q where pq is the function of y remember it p is the 1 by y and q equals to 1 plus 2 log y so integrating factor will be e to the power p p is the function of y 1 by y this is the only e log will be cancelled only y now this multiplying this y on both sides we get this differential equation
x into integrative factor that means x y right hand side into y integrative factor so x y equals to multiplying with y we get this is the actually u b formula okay well, u b formula okay y will be y square by 2 plus 2 this is the u b formula u into v integration u will be log y remember it log exponential function uh, then a, a, a to the power x function e to the power x function will be always u sine cos etc will be u so this will be log y will be u uh, and b differentiation u y differentiation y integration what y square by 2 minus differentiation of u that means log y differentiation 1 by y and y integration will be y square by 2 again integration this again integration will be only y y integration will be y square by 2 this is why this will be four. This is the actually result. Okay, similar process. Twenty four left for you. Twenty five also. Very easy. I hope everybody can do this. Now, another example with dependent variable. With dependent variable r and independent variable is theta angle the given solution can be written as actually this can be written as just uh, just alternating on both sides r sin theta plus r square now dependent variable will be r independent variable is theta remember it so here dividing on both sides with, with what r square cos theta r square cos theta on both sides we get minus uh, uh, dividing by r square cos theta we get this actually this is the linear form then putting the coefficient of independent variable r to the one minus one will be z or b any one you can write b then differentiating on both sides with respect to theta dr by theta so minus r to the power minus 2 dr theta can be substituted by dv theta. This is the actually linear form of dependent variable d and independent variable theta. dy dx look like y means v, x means theta. So integrating factor will be e to the power coefficient of independent variables that means tan theta. The coefficient of dependent variable tan theta. Tan theta formula what? log sec theta remember it this is the integration integration formula of tan theta e log will be cancelled only sec theta this is the integrating factor now multiplying with this sec theta on the both sides of this linear form of differential equation so dependent uh, dependent variable into integrating factor equals to integration of right hand side into integrating factor sec theta sec theta will be sec square theta sec square theta integration what will be tan theta this is the actually result sec theta will be cos theta after dividing here this is why tan theta into tan theta into cos theta what only sin theta and c into cos theta that means multiplying cos theta on both sides because this is the actually result Now, you will try at home solving this exercise. First of all, you have to follow the examples I studied today, then you can solve this. Solve the initial value problem. Uh, y, uh, y dash plus ty equals to t divided by y cube. Actually, dependent variable here, y, and independent variable is t time okay time derivative this way that means dy dt this will be what dy dt and this is the initial value problem actually initial value for t equals to 0 y equals to what 2 our given condition for t equals to 0 y equals to what 2 now this is the actually Bernoulli equation of n equals to what n equals to n equals to minus 3 
n equals to minus minus three y to the power minus n. So uh, for, uh, now putting z equals to that means z equals to y to the power one minus n. That means n equals to one minus three. That means y to the power four. Considering y to the power four equals to z, then uh, the initial con uh, condition on z can be changed. What? This is the, this is the z t. Okay. So z zero what will be just z zero what will be y zero to the power four, right? Y becomes y to the y y zero initial value. Then y zero what? Y zero given what? Two. So y zero to the power y zero equals to two. Two to the power four. Okay. Two to the power four. This will be actually printing mistake. Two to the power four will be. So y z zero what will be? Sixteen. Two to the power four means what? Sixteen. Now, now differentiating on this both sides, differentiate dz dt. What will be x to the power n formula n into x to the power n minus one differentiation for y cube dy dt. Okay, so for y cube dy dt, hence dy dt can be written as dy dt can be written as what? Dividing by four y cube on both sides, one by four y cube dz dt. Same. Now substituting these values in our given differential equation, uh, then uh, then dy dt is this plus t y equals to t by y cube. Now multiplying to four y cube on both sides, we get this. This is the actually linear form, right? Linear form of differential equation. So dz dt four t y cube equals to what? Z. This is the form. This is the actually linear form of differential equation, and this is the first order uh, ordinary differential equation. Dependent variable is z with p p equals to what? P equals to 4t. Okay, coefficient of dependent variable 4t. Look like x actually depend in our standard form. X was the independent variable. Y was the dependent variable. This is why p x will be 4t. That means Pt will be 4t and Qt what? 4t. Same. So integrating factor what will be integrating factor e to the power e to the power integration of Pt. Okay. Pt means what? Integration of this. Integration of 4t. Integration of 4t what? T to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. This is why only 2t square. E to the power 2t square is the integrating factor. You can do this in our previous method. Actually here. Mu, you can leave this. So multiplying equation, this integrating factor on both sides, we get integration uh, dependent variable into integrating factor equals to for uh, uh, this multiply integrating factor. Okay, this multiply with integrating factor in our linear form. Four t into e to the power this. Okay, we get this. Now. Taking integration on both sides, z into e to the power twice t square equals to e to the power two t square plus c. This is the actually solution of this differential equation. Now, from initial conditions, z is equals to what was sixteen. So, sixteen e to the power zero e to the power zero y at t equals to zero t equals to zero here and z equals to z into z z equals to what? 16, 16 into e to the power 0 equal to e to the power 0 t at time t equals to 0 plus c. C equals to what? C equals to we get 15. So z equals to what will be 1 plus 15 e to the power 2 t square. Z equals to this is the actually result. But we have we have considered y to the power 4 equals to z, right? Y to the power 4 equals to z. Where? This okay. Z equals to what was y to the power four. So substituting y equals to z to the power one by four, then we get this. This is the actually main solution. There are different kinds of solution in our differential equation. One is singular solution, particular solution. Okay. This is the actually what? This is the Particular solution assigning the initial value.
dy dx plus two twice x y plus x into y to the power four equals to zero. This equation can be written as this equals to minus x into y to the power four. That means dividing by y to the power four on both sides. Okay, dividing by y to the power four on both sides. Y to the power minus four dy dx plus twice x y cube. We get this is only x function. Now taking the coefficient of x function is y to the power minus three equals to b. You can consider z also as for previous example. So y to the power minus three equals to b. Now taking differentiating on both sides minus three into y to the power minus three minus one. Okay, x to the n formula n into n minus one. So minus three into y to the power minus four dy dx equals to db dx. Okay, so db dx equals to y to the power minus four dy dx. This can be written as db dx minus one by three db dx from this. Now twice x. This will be b. This will be. Now multiplying minus three on both sides, we get this result. So this is the linear form. Actually, dependent variable b and independent variable x. So integrating factor of what will be e to the power the uh, coefficient of coefficient of independent variable that means x function 6x and minus y this is the coefficient of minus this is why this integration what will be x square by 2 x integration x square by 2 2 and 6 cut so minus 3x square actually this is the integrating factor now this can be written as dependent variable into integrating factor equals to integration of right hand side right hand side what was only thrice x we dependent Indicating factor. So this is the e to the power t into dt. T what minus three x square equals to t substitution process because this integration cannot be done without substitution. Minus three x square equals to t. Then uh, differentiation of this which will be minus six x dx. So x dx will be x dx will be substituted with minus one by six dt. So minus one by six e to the power t dt e to the power t formula e to the power t. Now substituting the value of t e to the power minus 3x square will be was the t. So this is the actually result. This is also same. This is also here y to the power minus 2 equals to b. Then differentiating on both sides, we get the Linear for this integrative factor will be e to the power x x function coefficient of dependent variable one by x one by x formula log x but this two will be power after log x square so multiplying with this integrative factor on both sides we get the required result very easy I hope everybody can do this. Bernoulli equation, Jacob Bernoulli, 1654. In 1654, um, to 1705, his lifetime, a Swiss mathematician born in Basel, where he was the professor of mathematics until his death. He was a member of one of the most distinguished families of mathematicians in all of the history of mathematics. Jacob Bernoulli, Bernoulli family. There are more mathematicians in his family. If you search in Google, you will uh, you will see that many many family members are the mathematician his most important contribution are the theory of probability and the uh, bernoulli uh, actually bernoulli has contribution in probability and the calculus and the theory of elasticity in physics other member of the family contributed to many different parts of mathematics including hydrodynamics and the calculus of variation and Bernoulli differential equation also in his name. Uh, actually, there are many applications of differential equation of first order. Uh, first of all, growth and decay rate problem. If we find out the population growth, or a decay of any atom 
or any uh, any substance of decay to find out the decay rate uh, we can we have to take help the from differential equation temperature problem uh, actually newton's cool, cooling law is the very favorite law uh, in physics uh, you have to uh, solve this uh, differential uh, with the help of differential equations of first order is it a capital t is the temperature and t is the time so uh, falling body problems newton's uh, second law of motion uh, we have to apply differential equation this is also differential equation uh, the equation which consists of derivatives here the velocity uh, velocity is the dependent variable uh, dependent variable and time is the independent variable so newton's law of uh, motion uh, in in we have application uh, dilution problem hmm. okay in in actually in chemistry if you mixed uh, any salt uh, with other chemicals then this uh, dilution problem rate of change of uh, uh, rate of change of a mixer concentration with respect to time that means dq dt also this is also differential equation of first order electric circuit uh, in electric circuit actually i is the what current and r is the resistance r is the resistant l is the what inductor and capital r is the resistance in ohm then we have we can make a differential equation like this uh, in, pre, in next class we will study about this di dt plus r by l i equals to e by r actually e equals to what emf emf electromotive electromotive force so this is the also differential equation of first order uh, we will uh, learn about this application in our next lecture uh, in orthogonal trajectory trajectory means actually family of uh, family of uh, curves uh, FM, a group of curves huh, this is the a group of curves in xy plane uh, orthogonal orthogonal means actually uh, the angle between two curves is 90 degree then this is the orthogonal curve in orthogonal trajectory also form differential equation like this so uh, there are many many solve problem we will solve uh, in next class about this now another initial value another initial value problem uh, solve the initial value problem y dash plus y equals to cos t y0 equals to 1 actually dy dt this is what dy dt t is the independent variable y is the dependent variable and if t equals to 0 then y equals to what 1 so this is the actually linear form dy dt plus y equals to cos t uh, here p t equals to 1 constant coefficient of y and integrating factor what will be e to the power what e to the power integration of 1 t one integration what only t so e to the e to the power t is the integrating factor now multiplying on both sides with the linear differential equation of first order ddt will be uh, this will be e to the power t into y e to the power t into right hand side okay why uh, right hand side what cos t right hand side cos t this is the right hand side okay Integrating factor now integrating on both sides we get only y into e to the power t integration it integrating factor into right hand side so this is the actually uv process okay uh, you 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 will be what you will be et okay and cost will be b understand so this integration will be like e to the power t sin t plus cos t this is the actually result okay now if we put t equals to zero if t equals to zero then y equals to what one this is the given if t equals to zero y equals to sir sir okay okay just uh, two minutes t equals to zero y equals to what one then putting in this solution we get c equals to what half just putting c equals to half here we get the required or required result this is the actually required result and this is a uh, this initial value problem this is also linear differential equation uh, if t equals to zero then y equals to what one this is a uh, homework for you i hope everybody can do this uh, and you can solve this 
just putting t equals to zero and put y equals to one in the in the format of the equation, then you get the general solution of the differential equation. So this is the linear for uh, and uh, p t equals to minus two, just constant. So integrate integrating factor will be e to the power minus two t. Okay. Now multiplying this on both sides, we the, we get this. E to the power five t integration e to the power five t just uh, dividing with the coefficient of t independent variable. So y equals to this. Now putting t equals to zero here, then y equals to one. We get c equals to four by five. Now putting c equals to four by five here, we get the actually general solution. Because this is the this is another linear differential equation with initial condition, and this result also this after putting t equals to zero and y equals to zero in the solution. Okay, today is the end of this class. I hope everybody can do uh, this method of Bernoulli differential equation and practice it at home.